It has a lot to do with uh, knock, knock, knocking on heaven's door. Um, our, one of our co-owners, he owns 18%, is Bob Dillon. Um, and we started off in Nashville seven years ago. And create, the labels that you see right here are from Bob Dillon's um, creation because he makes uh, gates. He makes these heaven's door gates for charity. He gets, uh, he welds different antiques into his own creation from his creative mind and he sells it for charity for for $300,000 to $400,000. So he gives it all back when he makes a when he makes a heaven's door gate. I always wanted to be in uh, bourbon from when, so about seven years ago when he got um, in contact with uh, one of our master distillers. And they basically said, he basically said, y'all make the juice and I just want to be a part of it. He gave him a, you know, kind of an idea what he wanted to have as a bourbon. Our double barrel, our blue label is actually from Bob Dylan's creation because he said he wanted to wanted to taste like an old uh, old uh, wooden house in the woods. It's been sitting out the woods for 20 years, which is what, Bob, of course, comes from Bob Dylan's mind. So we tried to get it something into that realm, and that's what we that's what we call our double bar. Right now, today, we're launching our, we're actually from Nashville, but we're moving into Kentucky. We're gonna be one of the first uh, bourbons in the country to have a Tennessee bourbon and a Kentucky bourbon. Our um, Kentucky distillery should be open the next month, but this Ascension is our Kentucky bourbon that just came out this past week. Right here is our refuge, is our rye. It's uh, called Kentucky Refuge. It is a 95, 5% rye. And then right here we have our 10-year-old Tennessee bourbon, which is 70 corn, 22 rye, eight malted barley. And this is by, this is one of our allocated, um, really nice bottles. Hey, this is uh, what we'll be opening up soon. With uh, We'll have a church downtown Louisville, which will be our tasting room. We have a 100-year-old church where it's gonna be a restaurant, tasting room, Bob Dylan merch, and then we're eventually gonna do a Bob Dylan um, art gallery because he has a lot he has a massive uh, collection of art from him and you know, like Jimi Hendrix and people that he's come across through his life and we'll be presenting an art gallery in the in the near future. Does Bob uh, Dylan know that you're the bourbon of the day at Kentucky Day? Uh, yes he does. Not sure about horse racing fam I'm sure he's he definitely knows everything about Kentucky now that we're Kentucky's now our, our home base. That we started from in Tennessee and we're gonna keep the Tennessee juice going and we're going to basically go into Kentucky and try to prove ourselves over there. Like we've, we've proven ourselves in Tennessee, but if we want to prove ourselves to the world, it's got to be in Kentucky. What we did, we took Jeff Ruby's um, recipe for their Manhattan that you can get at their restaurant, and we aged it um, in one of our actual barrels, one of our single barrels that we kind of turned into a 10 liter uh, Heaven's Door barrel with a char four cast inside. So it's going to speed up the process. And so right now we have one of their Manhattans that's been aged for two weeks in here. So it's going to give it a little bit more of a, a barrel. It's going to change the profile quite a bit. But yeah, that's hopefully you'll see that in the next Jeff Ruby's in Nashville. And then on the other side, we have a uh, old fashioned with um, Heaven's Door Tennessee bourbon. We've got the Kentucky bourbon in here and the Tennessee bourbon old fashioned is uh, the same process where we age for two weeks. 